Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. I am in my new office. Uh, you know, Kiana moved out, so I moved from the garage, which was a remodeled garage um, that was previously my daycare and then my office, and now it's hopefully going back to an office, but must be Dave approved. <laughs> so um, today we want to talk about baby step number two. So guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's jump in. We're going to talk about the Dutch Snowball, and I'm going to show you how it works. I am a prop girl, so I have to have some things in place to be able to kind of get my point across because I'm very visual. So I'm going to show you um, my actual um, three credit cards that I'm getting ready to pay off, and um, we'll go from there. All right? Okay. These are my three remaining credit cards. I have Ashley Stewart, of course, true to form. Pam has not one, but two Capital One cards. And um, they are listed from smallest to largest. Um, and these are the minimum payments without any extra being thrown to the debt. These are the minimum payments each month. That's not really true. Ashley Stewart is now $45. And remember guys, I was throwing a lot of money toward um, Ashley Stewart because I had the um, yard sale, I had the let go, and I had the Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist where I was selling a lot of stuff. So on those extra payments to Ashley Stewart, which knocked the minimum payment down to 45. However, because I've been accustomed to paying $80 for so long, I still wanted to go ahead and just in my mind to stay at 80. So everything else um, other than the interest would go directly to the principal. What you're going to do is you're going to throw all your extra income that you have, um, anything that comes in extra that you weren't expecting, uh, jobs, um, like I said, yard sales, anything, you're going to throw that at Ashley Stewart because Ashley Stewart has the lowest balance. And I'm going to show you the balances in just a second. Um, and you're going to pay so it will make the the minimum payment go down so more will go to principal less will go to interest okay then once Ashley Stewart is paid for you're going to take that 80 and apply it with the 45 which will give you hundred and twenty five dollars which you then will have all of that minus the interest going to Capital One until you pay that off. Then you're going to take the 125 and the 25, which is 150, and you apply that to the second Capital One and everything minus the, int uh, the interest would be applied to your principal. So that's how the debt snowball works. And I'm gonna show you um, with the actual spreadsheet of how it actually looks. So what I'll do is I'll go across the top just to kind of give you an idea of exactly um, the columns that I'm looking at and then um, we'll go through it one by one. So we have total months, then we have credit months, then we have the name of the lender, the actual balance, the amount of the interest, the planned payment and then the actual payment and then we have the payment to principal okay and that's going to be on each one of those if you look ashley stewart is blue um capital one the first one is like a goldish color and then the second capital one is like a green color okay all right so let's go through this and there is a method to my madness. Um, people may do it differently. That's fine. It just kind of works for me. And so I'll share with you and you can take from it what you can and make changes as you need to. <laughs> um, but it at least give you somewhere to kind of start. So the total months on Ashley Stewart and the credit months are going to actually, um, they're going to actually line up together 
because Ashley Stewart is the first one that I'm going to um, tackle. So right now the balance is $593.76. Approximately $23.76 is going to interest. I have planned $80 going to um, the payment and that's not including the interest. And the actual payment that I'm going to make is going to be $125, which means that $101.24 is going to go to principal. Now, I plan to make um, payments more than $125, but and then you also have to realize that right now the interest has stayed the same because I won't be able to actually key that in until the statement comes out. And then um, I have the sale set up where it will automatically subtract the interest from the payment. And then that gives you the payment to the principal. And then the payment to the principal is subtracted from the balance. Got it? <laughs> So, once again, so what I have here is I'll take the interest from the actual payment. So, 125 minus 2376 is going to give you 101.24. And then I'll take the 121.24 and subtract that from the, uh, the 593.76, which gives you $492.52. So, once I key in the interest and once I key in my payment, the calculations actually go in and do themselves. So, that's how it does. So, you'll see right now, if I only pay $125 a month, it will take me six months to pay this off. Okay? That's too long for me. I need a little bit more instant gratification. So I'm literally going to, you know, hit tooth and nail to try to get this done. All right. So from here, we have month seven because remember we stopped with month six and, but it's the first month of capital one payment. So I'm starting from like right now, this month. So the current balance is a hundred, excuse me, $1,493.48. The interest last month was $33.64. I had to go by that because I don't have the current interest. And then the plan um, payment was $45 because, you know, you just pay with the debt snowball. You pay the minimum payment, which is $45. And I was going to pay $45. So that meant that only $11.36, y'all, out of all of that payment, even though it's only $45, only $11.36 is going toward my principal. Yeah, that made me angry. That made me real angry. So how I can make this go faster is to continue with the debt snowball. As you see, the total months and the credit months are going to now change. I'm starting with the, the credit month, which is the first month, which is this month, and I'm paying $45. However, it's actually the seventh month for me to come out of debt. Till I pay off Ashley Stewart, starting in month seven, I have committed myself to $125 to Ashley Stewart. Uh, even though, you know, the payment was $80 and then it's really 45, but you know, the minimum I'll go is But my goal is always to pay 125. So what I did is I took the 125 plus the 45, which is 170 dollars now going toward um, toward the payment. That's the payment. Now you have 170 dollars going toward the payment. It's going to subtract out the 36. Excuse me, the 3364, which that will continue to go down. But once again, I don't have that until the statement comes out. So I had to use, you know, something to kind of plug it in. It would apply $136.36 toward the principal. If you look, it will take me 17 months to pay off the Capital One bill. Yeah, that's not going to work for me either. So. So even if I paid only the $45, which is the minimum payment, and then starting in the seventh month, 
through the 17th month paid $170. It will take me 17 months to pay this off. So, you know, I've got to find either some extra income, something, because these are not the only debts I have. So 17 months is a little short of a year and a half. Well, we haven't gotten to Capital One, the number two card yet. So now we have the last credit card, which is Capital One, the second credit card. That balance is $1,944.01. So right now I don't have any interest for May or for June. If I was smart enough, I would have gone ahead and paid this card off, but that was pre Dave Ramsey. I will call and ask them to reduce the interest rate once it um, starts doing interest, but right now um, it's not accumulating any interest. So everything goes straight to principal. So that payment of $25, $25 would go toward principal. So because this balance is so much more than the other balance, Capital One, I figured that the interest was probably going to be about $35, maybe a little bit more. And so I'm sure that the payment will go up to $40 or so, the minimum payment. So therefore, only $5 would be going toward the principal. So what I'll do is take the $125 from Ashley Stewart, the $45 from the first Capital One, which is $170 total. And then I will add that to the 40 that I'm paying the second Capital One, which would be $210. But the problem with that is I can't start doing that until the 18th month. So that means if I apply the $210, it will take me 10 more months to pay off Capital One. So for all three of these bills, if I don't get some extra income or something, just doing the debt snowball the way it is right now, I would be I would have to wait 28 months. So that's two and a half years. Okay, guys, so this is really only short of like four thousand dollars, a little bit over four thousand dollars. That's a long time to me. People have paid off a hundred and something thousand dollars. So, so I'm going to take every bit of extra income and throw it at this debt so that I can get this taken care of. Because you got to realize, I still have a car note that I want to tackle and student loans that I want to tackle. Okay, butterflies, I hope this example helped you guys get a better understanding of how the debt snowball works. And um, of course, to all my butterflies, I love you so much. Please make sure that you subscribe if you have not. Make sure that you hit the notification bell to let you know exactly when we upload a new video. Make sure that you like and make sure you leave me a comment. Love you, butterflies.